What is going on guys, this is Clutch once again with another squad builder challenge and before I get into it I'll just let you know that I've taken your suggestions to do cheaper squads and the first one of those will be tomorrow or the day after. I'm going to start off with the team that I first built on Ultimate Team this year and it cost me 8.6k for a full gold Serie A team that I really enjoyed playing with back in the day. But back onto the team that I have for you today, this is the challenge that was taken from the comments from the last video and I was asked to use Koscielny. Um, at centre back place for Arsenal. Uh, I've, I was also asked to use Bill Hander, who I've got at centre attack in mid on the left side. And finally, I was given Kerryson at striker. And I was also told not to use Wallison to link up with him, which is uh, it's a pretty good twist. Um, I'm open for more suggestions like that to make it harder. Um, give me players that I should not use. Uh, say for example try and do a, a hybrid without Brazilians or something because Brazilians kind of make uh, hybrids quite easy and they're a bit of a cheat tool if I'm honest but um, yeah I thought it was a good idea t idea telling me not to use a certain player and feel free to keep mixing up like that in future and making it harder okay so quickly running through the team in net we have Vorchek Szczesny um, he's in the team because he links up with Koscielny because of the Arsenal link uh, as a keeper, he's he's fairly decent, but he's n he hasn't been consistently good for me in my games. Uh, he has like maybe three or four good games, and then two bad games on the trot. And I don't know, don't know why. Uh, probably could have had a better keeper, but I had to use him because of the Arsenal link. On to centre back though, we have Sacco, who is. A pretty decent centre back. He has fairly decent pace for centre back. He's got 74 pace, and he has 80 defending and 84 heading, so he's pretty sturdy, and he's good going forward. He scored a few goals on corners for me. But onto left back, we have team of the season Nasame, uh, defensive mid linking up with him, playing for Montpellier as well. Is actually no, he plays for Lille. I was thinking of Belhanda there. Uh, we've got Mavuba at defensive mid. Linking with Mavira at defensive mid, well not really linking, this is a dead link, this is Lucas at defensive mid. Um, I could have used uh, Ramirez, but I've used Ramirez in other squads, so I thought I'd go for Lucas because he has, um, he's fairly good defending, I think he's better than Thingy defending as well. So, uh, at right back we have, where is he? We have Raphael. I wanted to go for a different right back as well, and he had to be in the Premier League, so that's why I went for Raphael because he links up with Koscielny and Lucas because he's in the Premier League and he's Brazilian. On to attacking mid. This is uh, I, basically at the attacking mid, you can go for any Brazilian really, but I decided to go for Alex because he is amazing. His, his long shots are phenomenal, he has five star skills. He only has 72 pace, but he still does beat defenders. He's he's deceptively fast, um, but he's a good player, and that's why I have him in the team. But finishing off the team, we have team of this season, Giroud, another Montpellier player. I've got three of those in the team, but this is the finished team, and this is I I gotta say this is the most fun team I've I've ever played with. It's just it just suits my playstyle so well, like. I don't know, I I just had so much fun playing with him, haven't lost a game with him, it's just amazing. Uh I I'm just lost for words on this team. I'm definitely gonna keep this like I usually say I'm gonna keep teams and end up selling them to make other squads, but this team I'm just gonna keep for one. I just wanna chill and have fun and play FIFA because this team is just so fun to play with, it's unbelievable. And Kerrison up front is just a monster. Um Volleys, overhead kicks, all sorts. He just scores them for fun. And Giroud, if you get a shot with his left foot, it's going to go in. His right foot is fairly lacking. I think he's only got a two-star weak foot. So you don't really want to take too many shots with his right unless he's a, unless it's in the box. But other than that, 
he's a good player. Belhand is fairly decent. He's got good long shots. He's got good skills, good ball control. Um, with ninety dribbling, um, Mavuba, he's he's good for a defensive mid. I'd still say Williams, the Brazilian centre mid, defensive mid, is my favourite defensive mid on the game. But he's he's good. He's got eighty pace and eighty seven defending, which is absolutely beast for a de defensive mid. And Nasame, he's nice and fast, and he's also got de good defending as well. So he's good for the team. Uh, Koscielny and Sako. Koscielny does get caught out quite a few times, I've noticed. Um, I, don't, I don't know. Um, the defensive pairing does work the majority of the times, but occasionally they will get caught out, which is probably just me and my terrible defending. But, um, yeah. This team, I love it. Um, out of all the teams I've made, this is my favourite to play with. It probably won't be... It might not be the favourite for other people to play with but me personally this is my favorite team i've made but once again guys thanks for watching i will have another squad builder tomorrow or the day after and here are some goals enjoy it's been clutch peace yeah. Don't